Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Death Metal Dad Podcast. Why are we calling it the Death Metal Dad Podcast? Well, you never know what you're going to get. If you can get just streaming or you can get just video, both, something on YouTube. So we're not going to discriminate on this. And I'm a father. I got the dad bod, so it just makes sense. Anyways, we're going to be talking about all kinds of shit from horror to heavy metal to death metal to all kinds of good shit. Shows coming up, whatever. So, as you can hear, the type of negative in the background, there's a reason for that. They just released some merch through Puck Hockey, which is a uh, company up north in Detroit, Michigan, near Detroit, Michigan, I should say, maybe. Somewhere around there. Anyways, they dropped a whole bunch of merch on the website. I was looking forward to it. I snagged a couple things. I admit that I did not get any jerseys, the, the hockey jerseys. Why? Because I live in Florida. It's summertime all but maybe one month throughout the year. I don't need a hockey jersey down here. I'll take some flannels for, you know, when I actually need it for when I'm riding my motorcycle around. But, eh, I don't need a hockey jersey. So, I helped this company out and I supported one of my favorite bands, Type of Negative, and I got some merch regardless. So, it arrived today, so that's why I'm doing this today. I should have done the, this whole podcast deal months ago, but shit happens, life happens, and I'm now getting to it. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, cut the address so none of your cycles can stalk me. You guys are out there, I know this. So, and I guess it's going to be awkward, it's going to be full of awkward, hilarious bullshit, just roll with it. Anyways, here comes the, I have not opened this yet, obviously. So, always cut away from yourself, kids, otherwise, horseplay leaks a sick bay. Like we said in the military. Alright, so. <sighs> Yeah, you can see some of the stuff it's paper packing. Which is which isn't bad. Alright. So and I will work out later on getting better angles and everything. This is like a trial run. Next time it might be it's a computer or whatever, you gotta get the shit out of here. Oh, I'm make a mess of this everything. Okay. First thing that we got out here for my dome, typo negative, I got the gear head release cap. It's large, extra large for me. And uh, they, they did have two different hats. I went with the traditional typo negative logo gear when they had, they had, the other one was I think uh, the Brooklyn Bridge hat. So I'm gonna try this on, excuse my I'm Gandalf the white, gray, whatever you want to call it. 43, and I'm looking like an old man over here. Yes, this is dyed. I got tired of seeing gray every morning. I should dye this, but you know. Okay, so I'm putting this on. See how this fits? This is actually pretty big. This is really big to its size, really, because this is a large extra large and this is large extra large as well and this this is definitely huge I may re I don't know if I want to return it but it's big so if you have a big ass head this is perfect for you I don't think I can ride around my bike with it because it'll probably fall off in the wind so just in case, I'm gonna put this down here. So you can see this Takaki, it's meshed. So I'll, I'll see what I'm gonna do with that. I'll think about it. But yeah, that's definitely bigger than what I thought it would be. 
I thought it had a little bit of stretch, you know, so, something that it would fit, but you snug, but not too snug. But that's, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, next we have, I think I'm just gonna put the damn thing on the ground or something, just to give myself more room. Oh, that's what I'll do. Okay, plus you guys can't see it in you. Well, anyways. Okay, next we've got the shorts, which, I'm gonna try these on later on, but here you've got the the logo right there. Type of negative going up and down there, which material feels good. And I actually picked up some Black Dahlia Murder shorts not too long ago from a company called Night Shift Merch, which is I think I said that right down here in uh, Ormond Beach, Florida. Look them up; they're actually a pretty good local company. These are nice. I like these. Definitely come in handy for when I don't want to put pants on. I gotta take the dog out. Alright. I guess. Free shirt. I've seen the advertisement saying if you spent more than 100 bucks, you get a free shirt. Well, <laughs> I may have spent a little bit more than 100 bucks. I'll do it again. Alright, cool. Cool free shirt. Appreciate it. Puck hockey. Well, let's see what else we got. We have... Oh. This is, I think, the long sleeve. Yeah. It feels... I like the material it's made out of. It's really smooth. I'm not sure if they are going for a... Um, jersey slash shirt here. But this, I like the material that... You see that? You've got 93 in the back. Of the least, we've got kisses on one side. You can see that with the logo and bloody. So one arm says bloody, the other arm says kisses. I really do like this. It feels like it's really breathable material, which will become in handy, especially when I'm riding. Um, I like this. I like the layout of it. The material feels good. Extra large for my fat ass. So yeah, I, I like this long sleeve. This long sleeve is nice. Um, I'll probably post some pictures later on of me having some of this stuff on so you can see. Because I haven't seen many people post much reviews of it, so maybe I'm the first one, who knows, but this is nice. Alright, uh, next. How much did they order? Alright, this is the regular t-shirt. It, this feels a little bit like the long sleeve, but I'm noticing a little bit of difference in the material once I touch it, so maybe I'm crazy. So you can see the bloody kisses. And if you're on the back for the release. Oh, and all these really have the, uh, they have this puck hockey down here, almost like you're wearing a jersey, because a lot of jerseys have the size and everything, or the, or the brand name down at the bottom. So they're doing that with these, which is cool. So I dig this, this is nice. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, I'm wondering if this is Stan because I did get some pucks. Um, one of these are display stands. Let's find out. Uh, I can. Gotta be smarter than the packing. Like I said, we're gonna cut away, kids. that's what it is. I don't know what else it would be for. Because I ordered some Pantera stuff from them a while back, and I ordered the Vulgar Display of Power Puck, and it actually came in a protective case. So, I'm wondering if they changed things up, and 
got two pucks. There's two of these, it looks like. So let's find out. Here's one puck. It looks like the standard typo negative logo. It will come out. There you go. Nothing on the back. So I'm guessing. Yep, that's what it's gotta be for. So this will be on display on my dresser. And the other puck I got purchased and I remember when I said there was another hat they had available as a Brooklyn Bridge hat this is the Brooklyn Bridge puck that I got I only went with one hat so if you get the hat that's what's on the hat so I just went ahead and grabbed that so I'm only open one display stand so yeah I'll have this that's how that will look which is cool I don't, I don't really mind I'm just gonna have to dust dust the damn things off every once in a while I don't have to do that with my Pantera one all right oh what's next oh yes I have not had ever a typo negative hoodie. This would be my first hoodie, typo negative wise. And I'm excited for when there's actually that one month of cold in Florida that I'll be able to wear this. This is on the left breast patch, you can see that right there. Get the hood with the little symbol right there. I guess that's for the puck hockey guys. That's the back. And again, like the long sleeve, uh, you got the bloody on one side and you've got the kisses on the other. Which I do like. And for me, as I'm riding, I actually like how they did this. This is another reason why I bought this hoodie, is because when I'm riding and I got something, you know, you're sitting in the middle of traffic or whatever at a red light and people ain't doing the whole, what the fuck did that say? You know, I just had it on my arm, just as is, it would be able to read kisses or whatever I'm wearing for that day, you know, it's, Nothing upside down or sideways or something. It may, it'll just make sense. That's what I'm all about, making sense. So, this is nice. The material isn't too bad. It's, again, kind of going along the lines with the jersey material a little bit. Uh, I might be crazy on that, but that's just... It's very thin, but I'm guessing that it's going to work very well in, uh, in temperatures. Except for when you get it fucking wet, which is a, it's a wet time of the month or wet time of the year down here in Jacksonville or Florida, Orlando, Tampa. But yeah, I'm in Jacksonville. So, yeah, we got a little puck hockey deal right there. Yeah, I need to go to those other cities. It's been a while since I've been out of Jacksonville. Should say Florida, but oh well. Mary said Jackson. And this is one thing that I actually do love and is something that I was looking forward to seeing how they're actually going to do this. Well, how it's going to come out anyways. It's the type of negative flannel. That's right, flannel. And this thing is, I've seen so many pictures of it online, excited to see what it would look like in person. That's the back of it, which is just, I love how they did that. That's just, that's just wonderful. And obviously the green for Typo Negative's choice of colors, Pure Steel. So I forgot what color that, it's a green, but, and as a fan of Typo Negative, I, you're probably gonna want to just see me martyred 
not lard, but you no know, stone at Town Square because I cannot remember the, the t name of the green it was. But I know it's a certain type of green. And I've seen so many videos with Johnny, and he's all saying it's not the right type of green we rejected. But I know that type of green is having a brain fart right now. Anyways, so, like I said, this plant. These, all the long sleeves have got the writings on this the right way that I like. So this will, this is definitely awesome. I don't know if I showed you this, but this is up on the left breast patch. There we go. This is really, um, I like it. Uh, I'm soon I'll be riding around. I'm the green man. But, uh, yeah. Oh, you got little... If you look really closely in this logo, you can see all the little old negatives in there. That's really cool. Uh, this flannel will go cool anyway, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to having this on. Of course, I might be able to write it or use it while I'm writing here soon because it gets cold when it rains sometimes. Not that much, but it does. I could use it. I'll find an excuse to wear it before January or February, whenever the fuck it's gonna get cold again. It's cold for like two weeks and the warmth will fuck back up again. What the hell? Mother of Nature, make up your mind. So, yeah, um, that is what came out of this box. Um, I'm really thrilled with what I've received. The material's top notch quality. It's, it's, I dig it. It's just. I don't know, the hat. The hat's kind of a little concerning, maybe. Um, yeah, I've got some, I definitely got some room, and that wind's going to pick up really bad, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to, because Florida is, a, you don't have to, there's no law saying you have to wear your helmet in Florida. And I typically don't because last time I did, the wind got just right and it blindsided me. Like it came over my eyes, so I couldn't see shit. And the friend of a friend that was riding in the back seat didn't do a damn thing to help me either. She was just like, oh my God, what the fuck do I do? Take the fucking helmet off me. Anyways, yeah, but I like the material. It's great, um, I just, Order. I'm afraid if I order medium large it's, or medium whatever, the next size down, it's going to be too small for my head. Maybe I'll just stick with this and just not wear it while I'm riding or something. I'll figure it out. But yeah, this is, uh, this is good stuff. Um, I might get the jerseys. I mean, I've thought about it. But like I said, I live down here in Florida where it's fucking hot a lot throughout the year so i mean flannels warm as it is it has breathable material last time i wore a jersey didn't really let me breathe all that much well the material wise so i'll contemplate it and if i do i do um if i do you guys might see me with one on but i'm i'm really tempted because they got a couple they look good but 140 bucks for one of them or how much over ever much it was um yeah i just didn't see uh me buying one at this time because hot anyways so i hope you enjoyed the very first death metal dad podcast there's gonna be more to come um uh, now they got this awkward video out of the way I mean, you're going to see some funny shit. You're going to see some stupid shit. Hopefully, if I become established, you know, there might be some interviews with some bands. You know, the obituary and 200 Stab Wounds just played here uh, last week, and it was phenomenal. You know, I would have loved to have a guest from one of those bands on this, either John or Steve or, you know, Donald, whoever. But, um, yeah, Look for more of this stuff. You know, I, this wasn't too bad. Not too, you know, 
I wasn't too bad awkward, was I? I mean, I might have just repeated some things, but this is raw. This is, you know, not scripted. I'm not going by any cars. There's no note cards or anything. This is just how it is, me, in the flesh. And I'll explain, like, my name and everything. Jason lives undead. I'll tell you that's who I'm, that's the handle I'm going to go by. I'll, I'll tell you that in the next one. Anyways, I'm done boring you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out some uh, merchandise from Puck Hockey. Uh, they got some good stuff, good collaborations. They know they got Camel Corpse, um, Kill Switch Engage, um, obviously Type of Negative, duh. Um, I think this is Metallica. I think Rob Zombie. And I know they got some stuff that's in a vault that's going to go away if you don't get it soon. So check them out. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. So thanks for checking this out. And uh, have an awesome day.